Welcome to my MATLAB tutorial video. As for today tutorial video, I'm going to show you on how we're going to automatically plot a huge number of figure by using subplot. Okay. Let's say if you have a two or three number of figure, you can manually write the coding. It's not a big deal. But let's say if you have a 10 or 20 or large number of figure that you don't need to put in the one figure. How are you going to do that? The best way to do that is by writing in for loop. Okay. As for today, I'm going to show you on how we're going to choose the number of row and column for subplot and put it in the for loop so that you're going to automatically draw it for you all right okay here i already have like a 10 figure or 10 time domain signal that we need to plot okay our task is to plot each one of them in one figure okay not a separate figure so how are we going to do that okay let's say okay the first thing you must assign is the number of row okay choose a variable row and how many row that you want Okay, let's say for this example, I show you first the number of row is 10. All right. And the number of column is equal to only one. All right. Then you must determine the number of signal that we have here. How are you going to determine that? By choosing the length of the Y signal. Y start from one until 10. So you can say Y length equal to length of y signal all right okay try to run and see what happened now okay see we already have the length of the y signal is 10 okay so that you're going to plot 10 times okay now you can write the for loop so for i equal to 1 until y length okay okay when you start for loop and with the end okay this is a complete loop complete loops for and end then inside it what you're going to do you're going to put sub plot okay the first thing you're going to assign is the number of row then the number of column all right after that you're going to plot how many times i times i going to count from 1 until 10 with the increment of 1 all right, then you're going to plot of y according to i. i going to keep changing from 1 until 10. All right, okay, as simple as that. That's all. Let me try to run it and see what happened there. There you go. You have 10 different figure here. Okay, 10 different plot in one figure here as simple as that all right you can manipulate easily okay let's say you want to have five row with two column okay you can do that as simple as that try to run and see what happened there there you go you have five column five row one two three four five five row with two column one two okay you can change it if you don't like it, let's say you want two row and five column. You can do that. Try to run and see what happened there. There you go. As simple as that. At the same time, you can automatically assign the title and also the Y level and X level for each one of the figure here. Okay, how are you going to do that? So you're going to put a X label. All right. So x label going to be time x is time in second. All right. So going to be same for all the graph. All right. Then y label is going to be amplitude. Supposed to be amplitude in voltage. V is supposed to be capital V. All right. Okay. All right. So before the y label you can put the title okay what are you going to put you can put uh, signal y okay you can close it all right and before that here what are you going to do you're going to 
open the bracket okay then what you're going to assign there you're going to assign num to string as the r of what of i all right okay then you're going to close the bracket and close all right there you go everything fine okay it look fine there okay now let me try to run and see what happened there there you go we have signal y1 y2 y3 and so on until y10 we have assigned it automatically okay we have saved a lot of time by doing the loop process here so we can easily control each one of them the row and the column okay it's easy for us okay let's say if you want to remove any number of file it doesn't matter let me try to remove the last two file there okay control r okay then try to okay since we only have what only have eight right so it's going to be four two the number of row is two the number of columns supposed to be only you can put five actually try to see what happened there what happened now see you're missing two part here because since we only have eight different graph there so you're going to put there four four times two eight there you go much better right at the same time you can control the x axis limit here all right see you have a, some like a empty space here right so we're going to control the x axis limit x limit all right going to start okay from zero until 1000 why because you see here what is the sickness length going to be until 1001 okay you can put 1001 there and then you're going to close the bracket close it there you go okay to good try to run and see there you go we have much better signal there all right you can look if you look here if you choose the arrow here and right click okay you can assign or you can change the color or the whatever the signal property by you by choosing the pro show property editor okay you can do a lot of bunch of thing by using the pro okay you can choose the signal by double click and you can change the signal color according to whatever color that you want okay, to green all right you can do that to all of them each one of them you can edit the title as well if you don't like the title all right this is the thing that you can do then you have to come back here and going to hide the plot tools whatever the bottom down here there all right okay if you don't like i think if you don't like let's say two times four you can change it if you want you can put the other way around four row and two column two column there running there you go okay anyway thank you so much for watching hope you have a nice day and hope to see you in another video bye bye